In the personal story segment tonight, another outrage courtesy of our friends at the UN. Iran has just been selected to sit on the United Nations Commission on, Human, on Women's Rights. Iran, which requires that women who don't dress modestly enough get stoned or lashed. Iran, which threatens to arrest women with suntans. I guess we shouldn't be shocked. In 2003, Libya was elected to head up the UN Human Rights Commission. Joining us now from Los Angeles, Brigitte Gabriel the author of They Must Be Stopped, Why We Must Defeat Radical Islam and How We Can Do It. Brigitte, thanks for coming in. How could... Thank you, I'm delighted to be with you. How could the United States, how could the rest of the world allow Iran to take this lead role in terms of women's rights? They're the worst example possible. Uh, they are the worst example. I mean, Iran is uh, the first country in the world to actually make the marriage age for girls at nine years old, according to Islamic Sharia law. And, you know, the world sat on the sidelines and said, oh, that doesn't affect us. We don't really care. And it is so shameful. What hypocrisy. Here we are in the West. We have women's rights. We have the NOW organization. I think, Ron, Ron this is the time now for all these groups that support women's rights to come together and launch a petition against the U.N., trying to stop Iran. I know already the, uh, the uh, Iranian women's liberation movement tried to put a petition up. But this is a time where women from uh, mo modern Western countries like Australia, the United States, Canada, New Zealand, Europe, this is a time where everyone can come together and do a major petition to the UN and also women start putting up pressure on their government to pressure the UN well, to do I'm some, glad, uh, the same I'm thing. Glad, I'm glad you pointed this out. This is so amazing to me. Women in Iran are protesting the United Nations allowing Iran to be on this women's uh, a group. I, I, they're, the Iranian women themselves are in outrage over this, but it doesn't seem to have sparked any outrage at the UN. The vote was by acclamation. It wasn't even an open vote, just right. acclamation. And the United States didn't even raise a ruckus about it. So, Brigitte, what do you think the U.S. should have done? Uh, the U.S. now can still flex its muscle and rally a lot of other nations who are on our side of democracy and freedom and human rights. Listen, we provide 26% of the U.N.'s budget. That's a lot of money. Not even Saudi Arabia with all their oil wealth, not even the OPEC nation with all their oil wealth, give the U.N. as much as we give the U.N. But this Brigitte, is upon the United States. Could it, be, could it be that the United States and the Obama administration have bigger fish to fry over stopping nuclear arms development in Iran and we just, you know, we're going to let this slide by because we have other business that we want to attend to. We don't want anybody to get distracted. Well, I think this is going to be a rallying cry to rally other people. This is about women's rights, so we're not talking about nuclear rights right now. And any nation, whether it's Russia or in any other nations, should, the women should rally together to support women's rights. Now, to answer your question also, it's not going to matter what we do. Iran is not listening to anything about their nuclear development program. Let's face it, Juan. The UN has passed four sanctions against Iran, four resolutions in the last 10 years against Iran nuclear development. That didn't stop Iran because Iran knows the UN is not going to do anything. The world is not going to do anything. What have we done as a collective body of the world under the United Nations to stop Iran so far? The UN has become a joke. This is the time when we see well, things like this absolutely ridiculous that the UN is doing appointing Iran on the Women's Rights Commission this is the time for the world to say you know what you are a crazy organization is, we're not gonna let you do it this is hypocrisy but it's rank hypocrisy it's just unbelievable hypocrisy. you know what really strikes me I must tell you when I saw that video of Nidia you know the woman who was shot you know right, right. there in the midst of the yes. protest against the Iranian uh, regime and I think that this is a woman standing up and somehow she, the government just does away with her identity, her sense of dignity. They kill her. And now they want to stand up for women's rights? Is this a joke or what? Now, and also, just last week, that, that we have one of them saying, you know what? If a woman dresses immodestly, it's going to cause earthquakes and natural calamity? And Nidia, I, I, I don't get, I, these two things just baffle my brain. How does it make sense? How can they live with themselves? 
it is baffling. But here's also what's more baffling that many Americans do not know about how women are treated in Iran. A woman at nine years old can get married to any man by her father, even if he is 50 years older than her. A girl, if she is beaten by her husband, raped by her husband, she has nowhere to turn to. Women are burned in Iran. Uh, Gays are, lesbians are lynched in this, Iran. This reminds uh, me of the Taliban. This without is, her husband's permission. This reminds exactly. me of the Taliban and their madness. But you know, what is this about suntans? Exactly. I got to tell you, what, I, I was, when I read this thing about <laughs> suntans, so you explain it to the audience. Why is it that you can get in trouble for having a suntan? Because that means a woman took her clothes off or her burqa and exposed her flesh in the sun, even if it was in the privacy of her, own, of her own home, because maybe somebody from her neighbors was able to take a look at her while she is doing it. That means a woman has removed clothing off her body to let the sun touch her body. And that's what that means. It's absolute craziness. Bridget, because, by the way, there are people Bridget, with brown skin in Iran. We could, yes. we, you couldn't make, this is unbelievable. And the UN is going to allow this. Make this stuff up. This is um, the UN right. should never. And I can't, our tax dollars go to UN, support the UN. Get the UN out. This is um, anyway, Miss Gabriel. Thank you very much. Still.